The concept of the artery really emerged about 10 years ago. It really was a result of several goals that the city had. One important goal was to try to make a better visual connection to Main Street from Excelsior Boulevard. We were really lacking that kind of gateway feature and that had long been a desire of the city. That was brought on a lot with the light rail. We've got a light rail station that's gonna be dumping off a lot of new riders, new people to the, the corridor. Um, and we needed to attract them to this area in order to draw them into the Hopkins historic downtown, their main shopping district. For that, there was a lot of outreach done uh, with the goal being creating a, uh, what we've termed a pedestrian seductive corridor. What would draw their attention and say, oh, I wanna check this out. We knew we wanted a feature at Excelsior Boulevard to really create a strong visual image. But then once you get to the monument, you see something else that draws your attention and wants to pull you through the corridor. We were a little bit more fortunate with the Moline and that, that redevelopment project came along as we were under construction. Hopkins was the original Minneapolis Moline. The factory for that was located just right south of this project. So as a kind of defining element to the design is the history of the Minneapolis Moline. The Met Council, through their Livable Communities program, supported the project. Hennepin County was also a great partner in the project. Uh, they helped uh, fund some of the early on design and concept building, and then also some of the improvements uh, through the construction phase. There was a big vision to incorporate public art throughout the corridor. Some elements to, as an example that we created are a timeline that's, that is uh, carved into the sidewalk on granite of the, the history of Hopkins. A dragonfly wing structure that's uh, multi-purpose. While it's up, it is uh, indeed a very attractive piece of art, but it's, we actually have the ability to bring it down. As part of making the artery an inviting space and one that's going to work well for the special events that the city wants to host, we designed the, the corridor uh, such that there's no curb and gutter on the west side of the northbound uh, one-way roadway. That can be a little bit scary to some engineers. Uh, we mitigated the lack of a vertical barrier, if you will, uh, by the use of various buffers along the corridor. So you'll see planters, the, you'll see five-foot grass boulevards, you'll see planting beds up and down the corridor to create some of that buffer space. So other prominent features would include the actual uh, lighting system. We went with a custom lighting system here. We actually have uh, suspension cables with fixtures suspended above the streets uh, to try and create like a, a canopy feel uh, and an additional sense of place. I'm sitting here underneath the day and night shade structure. It's got shapes of planets that you can see through it during the daytime. I'm sure some of that light's shining down on my face right now. Um, and then at nighttime, it's got a sun that lights up in the center, and thus it's called day and night. One other thing too is we took the street down to a one-way through here to reclaim the area for uh, the additional pedestrian facilities. We've seen other investment that has taken place because of the artery, um, including the installation of the world's largest raspberry that was done by Hopkins Health and Wellness Center. Uh, we incorporated the use of permeal pavers and stormwater gardens that would take water off the street as well as water off of the sidewalks and infiltrate them through the soils. We have a, a bike lobby located in the Moline that is a public space for bikers to come in, stay a little bit. Uh, one element that we incorporate in that is a artistic uh, bike lock that takes a, the loops of a bike rack and it turns it into a bike lock that we designed with inspiration with the community and helped and we were able to design that and fabricate that through just local fabricators. Uh, we went through a process with the FHWA to have a request to experiment with a new bicycle signal head. Um, it has a leading phase whereby uh, bicyclists get a little bit of a head start crossing the intersection. 
um, and uh, then it goes to a flashing yellow uh, bicycle indication such that uh, bicycles approaching the intersection once uh, the, the traffic sign goes green uh, know that they might be intersecting with cars and should be a little bit more alert as they cross. Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, the city of Hopkins had such vision to create this project and to connect our beautiful downtown Main Street with a future light rail station. And, and um, of course, they put together a fabulous event. We always seem to have great ones here, good turnout, and lots of fun things to do. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah.